Good evening, Twitch and YouTube. It seems that we have a delivery to make. Clap off. That's pretty cool, right? It seems that I'm playing the role of the postmaster today and I have an important message for the world at large. Dear Twitch and YouTube, I love you. And so we begin. Hi everybody, it's a Monday evening, which is totally, totally out there. Monday fun day, as some will say. Sunday fun day. Sometimes they even say Thursday fun day, but that doesn't rhyme. And so we move on with our existences. I have a mission, and this is my mission. I'm looking back, it's been about a year since I started streaming, and I seem to have completely lost track of what the original goal of this whole thing was. The goal being, I have a very large Steam library. There are a lot of games in that Steam library, and I want to play them all. Gotta play them all! That's, that's what I'm telling myself, at least, except there will not be an animated series to go along with it, unless... Anyway, we'll workshop that idea. I have many games in the collection. I want to play them all. And I decided that perhaps if we add a little bit of extra, extra time to the mix, we'll be able to continue cracking down those, those games one by one by one. And I did a little bit of workshopping last night. We've got a couple in the queue. We've got a couple of indie games out there that I will spend at least an evening attempting to try. And this one's Postmaster. I do not know anything about this game. I just know that it booted up on my computer and the title screen works. If it breaks, all right, we've got backups. We're prepared for that stuff. But I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. From what I can tell, it's got a pretty banging soundtrack. I don't know about anybody else, but I am totally vibing with this music right now. This is the best kind of jive I can do back here. I mean, I could always get up and dance around, but anyway, anyway, it's game time. I've always imagined. Oh wait, I can. There's a tutorial. Oh, I should probably do the tutorial mode. I don't want to. I don't want to like. You know, I've always imagined myself as, uh, depending. You know, when I was younger, tempted to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And I thought to myself, like, a mailman wouldn't be too, too terrible, right? Mailman! Mailmen? Mail people? They do pretty good stuff. Let's call it mail room. Mail room. Mailks room. With an X. In, in classic, in classic, classic style. I actually decided to start making my own chatbot the other day. I mean, I kind of already have a chatbot, but I haven't switched it over yet. But, uh, it'll be a chatbot with an X. Chaxbot, if you will. I like this one. This logo's dancing with itself, and I think we need more of that energy in this world. What color truck do I want to choose? My favorite color is blue, but that is a very sad, very sad blue. I want a blue like the blue down there. Oh, look at these squares. I'm getting like roller coaster tycoon vibes from this. I'm gonna go with the yellow because I want people to. You know how you get, you can like kind of know what the mail mail carrier is. If you look at the color of the truck, if it's brown, yellow, probably UPS. If it's got that awesome, like, purple or orange thing going on, probably FedEx. I want people to look at my truck and be like, yellow, whoa, that must belong to the logo with the, the company with the yellow logo. No, it is not. If it's yellow, it's a school bus. I want people to get my mail service confused with a bus filled with young children. They'll be like, oh my God, it's mail time. And then they'll be like, oh. Just the brats next door, of course. Welcome to Postmaster. Your mission is to take control of a small post office and build up a large postal company, which is present in multiple cities. To achieve this, you will have to organize letter deliveries, packet handling, and delivery, and transport mail between post offices as well. You will have to keep an eye on office rental opportunities so you can expand your company. You will also have to keep your existing post offices safe from robberies. <laughs> employees and a variety of vehicles will assist you to achieve in achieving your goals. Keep your employees happy and your vehicles in a good condition as nothing is as frustrating as a broken down transport car when there are urgent packages to deliver. Could you imagine if Santa's sleigh just up and broke? Or like there was a year without a Santa Claus? Wouldn't that be crazy? They should make a movie about it. You will have to have the chances to, you will have the chance to deliver urgent mail for a bonus reward and to compete with a rival postal company as well. Remember to upgrade your post offices to increase their quality, thus having more satisfied customers. As you can see, there's a lot of work needed to run a successful postal company. Good luck, mailroom with an X. 
First of all, let's get familiar with the game interface. The game menu is on the left-hand side. Take a look on the left-hand side of the game menu. You can find the game speed of the view menus, which will affect the things that will be shown in the game area. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the log window where you will see information, warnings, and advice about the game that you... Uh, and your progress. The window in the upper middle area will show you the upcoming seven days. At the weekend, all post offices are closed, before, therefore the game will skip them. If you see a holiday approaching, then you will have to prepare for an increase in mail. Like Christmas, because Santa Claus doesn't actually do it alone. Or does he? In the upper right-hand corner, you will find the information panel, where you can see your company's logo, current game time, your available monies, and a number of bonus stars. Let's find out more about the information panel Please, first, let's look at your money. If you buy vehicles or hire staff, your money will decrease. Who knew? If you, uh, whoa. When you deliver, when you deliver, when you deliver packages or sell equipment, you get money. If you provide a better service, you get more mail and you earn more money. Sometimes you will be lucky and find a pri priority delivery and get extra income. Good for me. If I'm a good postal man, that means that I get more postal and less man. The second important thing is the bonus stars. You can gain them every weekend if you do well against your rival or deliver a priority package. You can also get them if you fulfill a mission. You can spend the bonus stars to unlock post office equipment, unlock vehicles, upgrade your staff, or advertise your company. You have to collect a large amount of bonus stars to unlock the third city. And pray to tell me, how do I unlock the second city? Oh my god, I just noticed time is already going. Oh, well, appar apparently I'm wasting time not delivering mail. How to control the game. Left mouse button, select or deselect menu function. Click buttons, it's windows, etc. Right mouse button, hold down the button and move the mouse to move the camera around the map. Middle mouse button, scroll to zoom in or out. Really? Oh, look at that. Wow, hot. Wow, hot. Click on buildings. Wow. Equally as attractive. When the game starts, you get given your first post office. In the game window, look for a yellow post office panel with some icons and your company logo on it. Find and click it. Lest you fall victim to the rival postal company. Who I will name Mailroom with a Z. The evil Zites. Something about that doesn't seem right. Okay. Wow. Look at this convenient yellow building, which is definitely yellow. This is a definitely a yellow building. Mailroom with an X. Now you are in the post office. You can do the following. Manage my staff. Manage post office equipment. Go to the garage. See the customers. Open the post information window. Wow, this is a very annoying sound. I'm not, not sure if I quite like the sound of the all the people going around. You can see your staff and customers, but only during work hours. 8 to 4, 4 o'clock p.m. 1600 hours. Not the Z. Not the Z at all. Customer service. Customer service is important. There are three types of workers, customer service, order, and security. Uh, customer service takes in letters, postcards, and packets. Sorters work in the back office and send the mail to the right place, either out for delivery or transfer to other post offices. Security prevents your office from being robbed because there is definitely a need for a robber to come into my post office and steal my letters and my packages. They're not after my money. They're after my parcels. First, you have to hire staff for your customer services. Move your mouse to the bottom of the office where there are some gray people sitting. That doesn't seem very PC to me. Push the left mouse button and select the buy function from the pop-up menu. I want to buy free staff desk. Hire staff. Are you sure you want to hire this person? I got $45,000. It's okay for me to throw around like 40 for some rando off the street. Congratulations, you have new staff. You can use this pop-up menu to sack or upgrade your staff. If you check the info panel at the top right hand of the screen, you can see how your money has fallen because when you hire staff, you have to pay their first day's salary and probably all their subsequent day's salary too. I can't believe I can sack my employees. I don't fire them, I sack them. I put them in a potato sack and I literally throw them, I guess I transfer them to the garbage company and they will become trash and fertilizer for the utopia that we will now build via a logistical service that help everyone. Okay, let's buy a sorter. Who works at the office's right side and wears a hat. All right. We need a sorter. Are you sure you want to hire this person? <laughs> yes, indeed. Excellent job. I suggest you now check the garage. There is a yellow arrow at the right side of the post office. Move your mouse. Click the arrow. If you don't go to the garage, who knows what will be lurking in there? Gremlins, maybe, or potential more workers. Look at you. Look at you doing your desk, staff, sorter. Oh. Staff desk. 
Oh, you're at the desk. Oh, you're taking in the parcels from the people who come by. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's go to the garage. This is the garage. This is the mighty garage. Enter it at your own peril. You can manage your vehicles here. To go back to the office, use the yellow arrow at the top of the garage window. There are five free parking spots. Count them. Thank you for counting. So you can buy a maximum of five vehicles. This is a small post office. Larger offices will have more spaces. Let's buy a new vehicle. I want a Maserati. Move the mouse over the white frame, which shows a free vehicle spot. Click with the left mouse button, and then you will see a pop-up menu. The first button is used to buy a vehicle. Please click this button. Wow. Look at all these five spots. I definitely could not fit any more vehicles in this uh, post office. I will buy vehicle. This is the window where you can buy or unlock vehicles. When you are starting a new game, you get one vehicle, the bicycle. As you earn bonus stars, you can unlock bigger vehicles to use in your company. I wonder if I can unlock a sleigh. Be like Santa Claus. When you choose a vehicle from the top of the window, you can see the vehicle's properties, picture, and information text. If you have not unlocked the vehicle, you can see the padlock picture and won't be able to buy it. Sad. Please click the second vehicle, the motorbike, and use the unlock button with the padlock icon. Oh, can I just like... But, but what if I want to unlock this guy? No thanks. I don't have enough bonus stars. I... I... Oh! Oh, I require 50 bonus stars. Huh, what it do, sexy cam? I'm a mail person now. Or rather, I'm not actually the person who goes around delivering the mail. I'm the mailroom manager. Or so I'm calling myself. Manager with an X. Manager. Anyway, um, I have enough bonus stars to unlock the standard car, so I'm gonna do that. I don't want to need a bike. I need a car. You've unlocked the vehicle, paying with some bonus stars. Let's click the buy button to get the motorbike. Okay. But like, do I have enough bonus stars for the motorbike? Wait, what is this? I can, I can buy. Oh, <laughs> it thought I would. This game thought that I would settle for the motorbike. Don't get me wrong. That is a pretty awesome looking chopper. But I want speed. I will buy a vehicle. What kind of game is this? Logistics? An independent logistics game that apparently came out in 2014. When we return to the garage, you will find your new vehicle. Very nice. We have a vehicle, but there are some settings we need to change to use it properly. First of all, we have to set the vehicle type. Move the mouse over the vehicle's picture. Click the left mouse button to select the change vehicle type button from the pop-up menu. From pop-up menu. Choose the first option. Letter delivery from new pop-up menu. Kachoo! Let's get on. Type. Uh, shift. Duty time. Task. No task. Let's give you a task. Sell? Never. No. Change vehicle type. You will be a letter delivery mobile. Great job! High five! Awesome! Now you can see the icon over the vehicle has changed and shows the new function type. The two flashing icons show that you haven't set the vehicle's path and shift. Next, we have to set the vehicle's path and shift. Please open the pop-up menu again and select the add path function. I will give you a path, dear Pathfinder. I will name- can I add- can I name a vehicle? I want to name this vehicle. I will name it the Pathfinder until I forget. Which I probably will. But alas, here we go. Uh, task. Task. There's a lot of... Where's my tutorial to tell me which one I should? Um... Uh, instantly. Go. Forth. I... You now have a new instant task. Um, and a path. Oh, I need to do the path first. Now I'm in the path select function. Where you can select blocks of houses. Interesting. This makes... This makes it sound like a manho at this point, but um... You're already talking to someone again. Astro! You're talking to someone already? That's a good thing. We are all bouncing back click quickly, just like the mail delivery system should be doing in any proper functioning society. If your mail delivery system, aka your logistics infrastructure, doesn't bounce quickly, bounce back quickly from natural disasters or other socio-political problems in your local jurisdiction, you've got a really shitty postal system, and you should sue your government. Riot. But in any case. In this function, the map, the map changed to the strategic mode. The lighter ground shows you post office's radius, which stays in the center of this area. Each Every block has a colored type desk and three towers to the side. The three towers indicate the locally generated packages, letters, letters is, and postcards is count. The other tower at the lower side of the block indicates the required workload for the selected type of vehicle. I didn't enjoy- I didn't absorb any of that, I don't think. 
Your vehicle visit every block that you select and does the job you've told it to do. Eeg, deliver letters. Every vehicle has its own range, so you can only select a limited number of blocks. You can see the actual and maximum number next to the mouse arrow. When you move your mouse over any block, the semi-transparent vehicle sign gets lighter. If you click the left mouse button at this time, you will select this block and the color will change to red. The next mouse click will clear the selection. You can only select the block in the post office's radius where you bought the vehicle. After you select all the blocks you, that you want, click on your post office to save your routes. Uh... Click. I've set my car's path. I don't know about that. I think I gotta do that again. Astra's mail delivery system does not deliver quickly. Aha! See what he did there? He spelled mail without the I. Instead with an E. That means mail. Like man. Although to be fair, I don't know like, what, how's your mail delivery system go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't answer that question. I already know. I too have a mail delivery system it's mail and mail but of course but of course we have to do one more step to finish the vehicle setup please use the vehicle's pop-up menu and choose manage task i'm gonna choose my path first it still doesn't have a path you'd think that this game would have like a null pointer exception like oh you did not do the path thing that you were supposed to shame on you no not shame on me shame on you deliver how dare you just kidding. This is enjoyable so far. I haven't seen- I don't see any conflict yet. Where's my rival post office? Okay, so I- Let's just like path, path, path. Now everybody- everybody got a path now. Can I not click on this? Oh, I can go down. Ah, I have to move the screen around. Everybody's got a path now! Is that it? That's it! I did it! I've got the path! Manage task. This is the task and shift window where you can set when and how many times your vehicle goes to work. Please select the instantly state from the left side. I did that already. I'm the perfect male person. Yes. Now. Uh, now I'm going to click the area. Click. Um, I set my car's path. Yes, I did. Oh, I. Oh, I had to click the button. Excuse me. Okay. Push the store button to save these settings. Store. Congratulations! You have set up your first vehicle. Let's check what we did. I, I pathed and I tasked it. Right? Please close the post office window and the set game speed from normal to fast. You will find this window at the top left corner of your screen. Top left corner. Top left corner. Uh, what do I need to click? I need to redo. Pause. Pa not pause. Uh... This game sounds like it has so many instructions. We are on instruction number... Wait, actually, when the next one shows up. We'll see. I don't remember what I needed to click. Uh, it is now delivering instantly. Can I go back to the post office? Car service. I don't... I don't have enough stars to unlock any of this stuff. Let's not worry about it. Um, pack it to... Oh, wow. Look at what my mail truck is doing. It is slithering around like a very fast snail. That car really does give me snail vibes. I'm into it. Okay. Oh, I see. I can like... Ah. Uh, packet demand. Somebody needs gas. I'm delivering gasoline. Post offices. Or just mailboxes. Similarly... Number 37. Similarly, you can set other vehicles as post box collectors, packet delivery and collectors, and so on. Now, please put the game speed back to normal, then pause the game. I... Okay. So we have a vehicle and a post office. Let's install some post boxes. At the left side in the games menu, choose the second icon, Manage Post Box. Oh. I... It's not pointing at anything. I think perhaps I've done this wrong. Ah, uh... oh, there we go. I can enabled and disabled demands. I need to click the box button. When you enter this function, the game will automatically change to strategic mode. You can see the blocks type disc and three yield towers in the block select function. The lighter ground shows the post office's radius. There is a semi-transparent sign with a post box where you can buy a post box. Question! Answer! We have them! They are not necessarily correct, but I have them to dish out nonetheless. 
At the left hand side of the screen, there is a little window where you can select the post boxes size and delete function. I want my delete function on my post box to be everything. Everything gets deleted. Everything. When you move your mouse over any block with a semi-transparent sign, it will change to red. Click the left mouse button and you can buy the selected sized post box. If you have a post box here already, you can change the size or delete it if you select the remove function. Please, buy a post box. Well, being that you ask so nicely, I would be happy to buy a post box. I'm gonna buy the cheap one. Post box. Are you sure you wanna buy a new post box? Hell yeah. Hello, how are folks be in? What is this? I have been pretty good. I decided to begin streaming every other Monday. It's a new and exciting thing happening here at Cameron with the Next Industries. Uh, patent pending. Um, LLC pending, incorporated. Uh, and um, it's it's um, the, I'm I'm the logistics system now. I'm a deliver letters. I'm a delivery boy. Question from Astro is: So is hair pulling always sexual, or can that be done in times of cuddling as well? In your opinion, personally. I would more than happily tug on a person's hair in a teasing manner. Now, I'm not really the teasing type, but I can definitely see situations where a tug on the hair is not super sexual. Actually, let's demonstrate. I am now tugging on my own hair. If this were indeed sexual, somebody report me now, because I must be held accountable for my actions. But what a question indeed. Hair pulling. I mean like in a plate, like tugging someone else's hair in like a playful manner? No, I don't think so. I think the sexual connotation of it might just be us as society imposing something on it because it seems childlike in manner. It seems that the things that people will do relatively innocently will somehow have sexual context as we get older because adults don't want to act like children. That's weird. That's my current stance on it. It can also be hurtful or mean, but playful can be platonic. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not the aggressive kind. It's like the tug. It's the tug. It's not the pull. Am I sure I want to buy post box? I do. I will tug on the small threads of society that hold our logistics system together. Not in a platonic manner. I have my hands deep in the postal system now. There is nothing platonic about this. There are definitely power, power dynamics at play, and I don't think I can hire an HR manager. Although I think one may be necessary at this point. Be observant, because you have to send vehicles to the post box. But only within the vehicle's post office's range. When you buy enough post boxes, click the manage post box icon in the game menu. I'm gonna buy all the post boxes. I have so much money. What do I have to lose? All I have to lose are the satisfaction of my post little customers. Okay, postal box button. Wow, look at all those postal boxes. Incredible. All right. So, so what do I do now? All right. Okay. So now that I've done that, maybe I should, uh, are they delivering to the post boxes? Should I buy more post office, post boxes? More post boxes. Can, can I purchase any more? May I purchase a mother post box? Hello, anybody, anybody post box anywhere? Potentially. I have done something incorrectly. Oh, shoot, tutorial. Oh, I can actually show the tutorial and read it. That's convenient. Uh, when you buy enough post boxes, click the manage post box icon in the game menu. Oh, that's manage post box. Box. I clicked it. Now we're back. I have to do exactly what it tells me to do. Or else I will fail as a postal master. I feel like maybe I could be a postmaster one day. That doesn't seem that totally out and beyond. Now you have post boxes, but how does the letter get to the post office? <laughs> a very important question indeed. You think it's magic? A little postal peasant. You have no idea. Please go to the garage, select a free spot, and buy a new vehicle. I'm gonna learn today. I will buy an additional vehicle. This time, I have no stars. I still cannot unlock anything else. So, I will merely buy... Oh my god, what is this? My vehicles have consumption, and therefore so should I. See, even cars have to consume every once in a while. Otherwise, they run out of gas. They sound like... That was cool. I bought a new car. Da ding Change the vehicle type to post box collector. Okay. Type. 
Post box collector. Go to the vehicle task and shift menu icon and change the shift to instantly, then store it. I will do that. Uh, here's my route. Here's my route. Go get them post boxes. Now let's go back. Now let's path it. Instant. Oh yeah. Awesome. What do we got here? Lorelai says, even not aggressive pull could be mean if the touch was clearly unwanted, so more emotional boundary hurt than a physical ow. But you'd never, never want to act like it lives purely in sexy town for zero reason. Kiddos who are still learning about the world tugging shouldn't have this label, so obviously it can also be play or cuddly if all are okay with it. So long as you, uh, as you have obtained the consent of the person attached to the hair that you are tugging, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it can exist in many a category. I'm trying to think too, like if I were if I were trying to get somebody's attention instead of tapping them on the shoulder, I might give them a little tug. I feel like I might. Tutorial 47, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. Well, nobody said that the postal system was easy or simple. Go to the add path function. It's like the boxes where you want this vehicle to collect. The I already did that. You can see an icon where you have a post box. When you finish, click that. I, I did that. I did that. I added my path. Look at that. Good job. I know, right? You have to carefully select where to place your post boxes and the size of your collection vehicle. Doing this will make you an excellent manager. I am the postmaster! I will give you your mail. Or make sure that your mail gets to you some way or another. Okay, let's buy a new post office. The Empire Begins. Please select the manage post office icon from the game menu on the left side. Let's manage another post box. <laughs> Dying is easy. It's postal work that's hard. <laughs> Put them stales to work. Let's go get them, you little slimy ones. In this mode, you can buy a new post office. Who knew? When you enter this mode, the game automatically changes to strategic mode. There are some flashing buildings, which show the available offices. You can click on them to see the optional sizes, the price, and the offer and date. Please click on, the, on one to select the size of the office. When you change the size in the window, the lighter ground shows you the post office's range, where you can buy post boxes or where you can send your vehicles. Use the buy button to finish the task. Okay. The offer ends when? Oh, I just bought, oh. I can buy a small one, a medium one, or a large one. Well, let's go big, oh my God. Oh, you know, I see why this might not be super advantageous. If I spend money on a medium mail uh, post office, then I'll only gain one additional tile. But if I do the large one, I feel like this one should be the large, this would be the small one. I feel like this isn't a smart decision. I don't, I don't like the advice that this is giving me. But alas, I'll take, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I can buy a different post office. I'm gonna buy the one at the other end of town. And it'll be a big one. Hell yeah, look at that. It's I don't have enough money for that. How about this one? I also do not have enough money for that. Okay, let's go with the tiny one. We'll go with the small one. This is fine. This is fine. Very good. I have two post offices. Now click the manage post office menu to leave. Then open your new post office by clicking on the white panel. Yes, I will. Oh, any guesses how many tutorials are here if we're already at 50? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna guess there's gotta be at least 100 tutorial boxes. That's my thoughts. I'm a broke boy. I haven't been making any money. Nobody is paying the post office. We need stamps. Tax the people. Uh, what is, oh, okay. I don't know, I don't like this button. Wait, um, manage post office? Um, what do I need to do? Now click the manage post office menu to leave. Okay, I did that. Now, um, now click, the, uh, then open your new post office by clicking on the white panel. Panel. Please go to the garage and select a free spot and buy a new vehicle. Okay. I will buy a new vehicle. Standard car. Okay. I'll do what you say, Bezos. Whatever you want. Um, this one will be a letter delivery car. Your, your route will be all these guys. All these guys are yours now. Very good. Good post office. Now, you will go instantly. You will never sleep again. Except you have a duty time. Oh, I see. Interesting. Alright. Now what? Oh, it needs to be post transfer. I did this completely incorrectly. Post transfer. Post transfer. 
Are you sure you want to change this vehicle type? The vehicle stops working, teleports back, and all post is returned to the post office. What year are we living in? They can teleport? Holy damn! Epic! Go to vehicle task and shift menu and change the shift to instantly, then store it. Okay. 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 All right. Select the first icon on the game menu. It is used to link the two post offices together. I am going to create quantum entanglement between my post offices. We're living in the future, baby! This is quantum logistics! I love it! Link post offices in this menu. You can transfer post from one post office to another. You must do this when a parcel or letter has been taken to one post office, but its destination is in the postal area of another post office. You currently have a transfer vehicle ready to help you, so let's set the transfer route. You have two post offices, so you can see two circles with car icons. One is green, because you only one you have only one transfer vehicle. You can make a new link for the post office where you have a free transfer car. Every car has only one route. Move your mouse to the green car icon and left-click on it. Green. The car icon has changed. This shows you the source position and the selected vehicle. If you want to delete select the car, I'll click on the button again. Oh my god, there's a lot going on here. I can have custom mail trucks? I certainly hope I can. Oh, another update. Oh, we got another one. Slime Rancher drones have completely evolved into trucks. Now they're automobiles. Snails, trucks, and automobiles. And slimes and other slimy objects out there. Ooh, Astra is getting glasses. You had your eye test and everything, so now you're just waiting for the cool fr the frames that come in. From, ironically, the mail. Who knew? How else would your parcel be delivered to your abode? Well, that's why we rely on the logistics system. I have glasses too. I haven't worn them very often. Not these glasses. I actually have pre prescription glasses. I have epic gamer glasses too. Enjoy your glasses. I don't need to wear these. I have... 2020 vision in this eye and 2025 vision in this one. I don't need glasses, but when I wear them, it makes the world look like it's in high definition. And these days, UHD, ultra high definition. I like 4K living. Now that my possible my now my possible destination post offices are flashing. <gasps> Goodness. Shield your eyes from the flashing post offices. When moving your mouse above them, you can see the arrow line. <laughs> sure can. Please click the flashing post office. No, thank you. Mm. How gauche. Excellent. You made your first link. To finish this function, you have to click the link post offices button in game menu. Please do this now. Link post offices. The next step is advertising. Please select the advertise icon from the game menu. Oh, so this is more like FedEx. Like, I have to tell people to use my logistics firm instead of somebody else's. Advertising. I'm going to scream at the world. Use my parcel business! Or die. Actually, I feel like it would be better ma- You must utilize mailroom with an X. Telling the world of large. You must use my parcel servers! The advert window has opened. And I gave you 20 bonus stars. God? Is that you? If you have an advertisement, you have a better chance of beating your competition. This is the first time the tutorial has referred to itself with a first-person point of view, and I honestly think there's a post god out there somewhere. Perhaps it is the mighty Hermes. Oh my goodness gracious. I could select the advert type and auto-upgrade. There is some information. Price, upgrade, percent, and how many bonus stars you have to pay. The price depends on post office count. Please select the leaflet type and then click the buy button. All right. My goodness, boy, it'd be wild if tech could get to, like, downloading your own frames or lenses to get printed so to your own specs instead of getting them sent to you physically. Dude, if I could 3D print lenses, oh, I guess, I wonder, I wonder if there's a completely, completely transparent resin print out there. Actually, resin print probably, maybe not filament print. I'm sure it's possible, but, like, Hermes. Hermes is be my mascot. You know what? That's my mascot. This little dude up here, this little mail room with an X dude, that's Hermes. You may not recognize him, but in the year 2132, when we have quantum delivery systems, this is the Hermes you know and love today. The modern day graphic designers decided to simplify him because minimalism has taken over the world. As you can plainly see from this cityscape that we have here, very minimalist. It's all squares and sometimes curves, but low poly curves because we're minimalists. We want to save on rendering costs. Leaflet, are you sure you want to place this advert? My entire life has gotten up to this point to determine whether I want to place this leaflet or not. Leaflet. Or leaf let me down. I'm sure. Well, as you can see, this was a mistake. 
The window shows you the actual advert status and properties. You can only have one. You can have only one advert running. You chose the leaflet. You fool. It's over for you now. You have now will now succumb to your rival competition. I'm sorry, young post peasant. I'm sorry. But to go further and continue with our lives, the competition statistics button from the game menu. This is when I see how it's all come down. Close, please. I need to go look at the competition. Mailroom with a Z. In this function, you can check you and your rival's efficiency. There is information on how many packages delivered and how many bonus stars you will get at the end of the week. You also can check your faults, which can be helpful for you. Like purchasing a leaflet. You fool. Why would you purchase the leaflet when the flyer was the clear option? To proceed, please close this menu item. What other advertisements could I... Leaflet, newspaper, poster... Oh! I should have gone on the radio! The quantum radio. Because we're living in 2132. In the year 2132, packages are delivered like this to the mail van. But the mail van still has to travel to you. Unless you want to recall it to your home post office. In which case, they and the packages within can all teleport more or less instantaneously. Quantum physics plays by its own rules. It's not necessarily the same as classical physics. It's, it's, a, it's a tough topic, I know. So how is the competition doing? Zale room, if you will. Computer. That's just what you're telling me your name is. But you're actually the Zale room, aren't you? Post-Q fault. Coverage fault. And if this value is high, try to expand the area. 3,000 looks pretty damn high to me. Um, post-Q fault. Uno, if this value is high, then you should enlarge your post offices and hire more customer staff. Look, game, if we could all have the biggest post office in the area, I think we would do that. But clearly, my money needs to increase. I don't think I've gained any money yet. I require more post offices. I require currency. Sometimes you get a special priority package. Uh, the postmaster gets the package? I suppose there must be a post god out there who's delivering postal deliveries to the postmasters around the world, including myself. If you can see a white window with a flashing packet in the city, you have to hurry, because the more time taken, the less money. Reputation and bonus stars you will receive for completing the task. Reputation and bonus stars you will receive. Complete the task. Or do not. Do or do not. There is no post office that fails. Because you don't have a vehicle assigned to this sort of task, close this function and open any post office window. That one. Go to the garage. I want to put it there. There. Buy another car. Dink. I will make you into... Priority deliver? What did I need to do? Priority. I needed priority. I need to prioritize my logistics. That's logistics. Have they trademarked that? Has UPS trademarked that? Am I infringing on copyright or something? When a snail delivers your mail and you didn't see it coming. That's logistics. Okay, so I have priority now. Please look for and click the priority package panel in the city to view the start to view to start the job. Priority package panel. Priority package man panel. Priority package panel. Priority package panel. Priority package panel. Oh, this is gonna be a breeze. Tutorial number 72. I am now the post person. New priority package. Okay. This just got intense. Okay, your nearest pa vehicle has been assigned to collect this urgent packet. The vehicle picks it up and takes it to the destination. Wowza! Then returns to the post office, and you get your reward. Please, wait while we deliver this packet. Wait, I can see my trucks, right? No, wait, how do I do my trucks? Wait! I thought I could see the truck! Where's the truck? I'm waiting! I am literally on the edge of my seat. I'm really not, actually. I'm sitting very comfortably in my chair now. Where's... Where's the, the truck? Oh, wait, did I not? I can't assign a priority to it? Change vehicle type? No? Okay. Uh, my priority vehicle is assigned to this package already. Is this a metaphor for the postal system that's large? Quick! Postal system! I have an emergency package! I'll get there eventually.
I'm confused. Maybe I had the packet demand? No? Why Why is my vehicle not moving? Oh, maybe it's because it's not in the correct jurisdiction. Maybe my post thing should be over here. Should, can I buy another car? I cannot buy another car. All right, well, I guess this guy's just gonna have to change duties for a little while. You will be the priority delivery man. Scary thought, I know. Um. What if I destroy? What if I change this vehicle? You'll be something completely different. Now please select the mission icon from the game menu. Um. I'm gonna admit, I'm a little confused, but that's the postal system for you. Apparently. Just wait till we start using planes. I will now select the mission icon. But before I do that, I'm gonna put everything back to normal. Because that's as the postmaster do. I think. You will return back to priority mode. Yes. You are going to return back to- Oh, okay. I see that there, the priority thing hasn't gotten there yet. You are going to return back to... Postbox collector! Yes. Your path will be... Everybody, can I just like... Pick them all at once. I don't want to click them individually. That's fine. Go get them. Instantly. I still have not collected this priority package, but at this point, I'm too scared to ask where the heck the priority guy is. I know he's in the garage, but what is he doing in the garage? Strangest horror game you've seen, but wouldn't discount it. Nah, yeah, I, not too bad. You can get yours now on Steam. All right, missions. When you fulfill a mission, the main menu button will start to flash. Goodness gracious. Again, with these very promiscuous menu buttons. And post offices. Post office, Chan, no. When you open the mission window, you should look for the finished mission. Where the star icon is yellow, please find the first mission where you have to buy three vehicles and click the icon to obtain your reward. I'm still in the tutorial? Yes, this is tutorial panel number 75. We are almost an hour into this thing. I actually got a half hour. Half hour, 40 minutes? Ah, whatever. 75 out of, yo, if there is exactly 100 tutorial panels, I might just completely lose my shit. I mean, we are on the last button, so there can't possibly be that more, right? Right? Complete this mission, obtain your rewards. Buy three vehicles. Dunzo. Congratulations. Mission successful. Buy three vehicles to get three bonus stars. I've earned three bonus stars. Now I have 20 bonus stars. I can buy, and I can make another irresponsible purchase of an even larger vehicle. That still gains me absolutely no monetary value. I've not made any money yet. This game has, we are on tutorial step number 76. And I have no idea when the profit is. Usually it's like, step one, do something stupid. Step two, stream it to the internet. Step three, profit. Uh, step 77? Profit? The star color has changed to orange and you have received your reward. Did it? Now select the prices button from game menu. Oh, that is orange. I agree. It looks very orange-like to me. Only Cam has made the guess of an even 100. The joke of 69 has been well passed, so naturally, now, it must be 420. Blaze it, my friends. I know I see, this is the postal business, say. Petroleum number 78. In this window, you can set your prices. You have to find the right balance for your prices and service. Otherwise, you'll make absolutely no money. See, when your price starts out at zero, you make absolutely no money. Who knew? If you set them too high, you get less packages, especially when you have a competitor. Please set the price to what you want, and then push the store button. Maybe I set my prices too high. Maybe I was too naive to realize how the economy works in this neighborhood. Let's see about that. I want my price to be. I have absolutely no reference for what's too high or too low. Well, zero must be too low. Uh... Let's make an arbitrary value. Mail room with an X. It has five syllables. So naturally, everything will be five. Everything will be five. Okay. Now please go to the statistics menu. Okay. Okay. 
In here, you can get some information about your company in the last seven days. There are four buttons at the top of this window to jump quickly to subcategories. Otherwise, you can use the scroll bar on the right side. When you finish, use X to close the statistics window. All right. Cam has discovered the superior thing for four kids to censor a cigar as <laughs> them just erasing them to an actual party hat. I also have Sharpie. I could use those. I could I could technically use this this pair of scissors, which I will not do because that is endangering all of us. Make sure to wear your safety goggles as you plan on putting scissors in your mouth. Just kidding. Don't put scissors in your mouth. Bad idea. Don't run with scissors. Bad idea. Don't let the scissors run after you. Bad idea. Don't get caught within the mouth of the scissors either. Also a bad idea. Pretty much you plus scissors equals bad idea in every single scenario. And I know that this is an exhaustive list. So let's not get stuck on that. Look at all this monies. I have no idea how to read these graphs. Wow, there's a lot of oh, there's a lot of numbers in this game. Who knew that logistics was all about graphs? Well, I'm clearly done with that. Me versus the computer. The Zale Room is winning. Another one for Zale Room. And another one. We're both good. We're both good. They have one post office. Ugh, lacking. What else do you got? Oh, many more post boxes. Vehicle count. They've got more staff. Oh, well, that's because I was silly not wasn't purchasing any staff members. I require staff. Look at these stonks. They are rising and they are falling. Only this one is falling. Everything else, through the roof. We're sending these stonks through the roof, baby. Look at these diamond hands. Please go to any post office to check out the equipment. My priority box has disappeared. Nope, it's still there. My money has left. My priority vehicle is still there. I'm actually thinking that if I did actually get to this priority box, then the killer music that is currently playing right now would not still be gracing our eardrums. I'm actually quite happy with this. So I'm gonna go to the other one. Waiting for what? As mentioned at the start, you can upgrade your post office with equipment. This can help your staff in their work and make your customers be more patient. Select the vending machine from the top left side of the window. Of course, because everyone's more patient when they're jacked up on caffeine from the vending machine. What do you guys sell? Coffee, caffeine. What do you guys sell? Soda, also caffeine. What else do you guys sell? Oh, well we also do candy bars. Not caffeine, but a whole shit ton of sugar. Empty place for vending machine. In this window, you can manage your equipment just like the vehicle window. When you select an item, you can see its properties. Morale bonus, percentage upgrade to your staff working speed or add extra waiting minutes to customers. Price debt you must pay. Maintenance, what you must pay every day to use this item. Bonus stars, what you have to pay to unlock the item. I want, okay, select the vending machine and use the unlock button. You only have to unlock each piece of equipment once. I want the best thing. This unlocks for three? All right. That was an ominous sound. The, when the bell tolls, you know that you've made a mistake. I will buy. Please close the equipment window. Just, oh, that was the sound of like a drill. It literally sounded like the game just laughed at me. Making me feel like a secure game. We are in the post office again. Welcome. This is my post office. We're back again. Tutorial number 87 had to make sure that we were aware of that. I almost forgot a very important thing. The game is becoming self-aware again. To hire a security guard. Right, to protect our post office from robbing, robberies. Sorry, you were talking with Brit. Nice. I also talk with Britain every once in a while. What did you miss? Logistics. You can find him at the top of the customer area. Click on him and hire him from the pop-up menu. Hi, sir. Hi, sir, how are you? Do I want to hire this person for 200? That doesn't seem very free to me. <laughs> Please close the post office window. Okay. There's literally nobody working here. There's just a police, there's just a security guard just standing there by the window. I feel like I also need to hire people. Yeah, I'm gonna hire you. Yeah, and I'll hire you too. Wait, sack, what? Oh, I don't want to sack the staff just yet. I don't want to sack them just yet. There we go. As you can see, there is a new window at the right side of the screen. A robbery event has occurred. If you have a guard where the robbers appear, you can save your office and gain reputation. Otherwise, you lose some money and reputation. They're gonna rob me of my parcels. Please click on the robbery window to close it. <laughs> wait, wait, I love this concept. If you see a robbery going on, hover over the window and close it. 
No robbery. Close. I'll tap out of that one. No thanks. Bye bye, robbery. No robbery now. Boop. Successful robbery. Wait, wait. Successful on whose part? I think you have a new priority packet to pick up. It thinks now, too. This being that exists beyond all else thinks, has a conscience. It is existing. Okay. Please click the priority panel. It seems so final. Well, post God, the way that you say it makes it feel so final. Okay. Oh my God, a robbery is occurring. What did you want me to do? Click the priority panel, parcel. Oh, okay. But I'm already assigned to this. Uh, but apparently I am the police now. I don't know what kind of repercussions this will have with me going forward, but I don't know if I want to be the police. I, I don't know what to do about this, this package. I don't... I don't know! Uh... Can I replace it? Replace new? I'll replace it... New, I can't do that. I don't have the money to do that. Wait, what? Okay. Um, I don't have a security guard there. What did they rob from me? Did I lose money? If it feels final, is 95 tutorials the end? I don't know. I apparently have a package. Please click the priority panel. Uh... Are there other panels that I can go to? I, I don't think this is working for me right now. I'm not gaining any I, I'm not gaining any currency. Oh no! I can't get another car. Oh wait, can I use it? I can use a bicycle. Wait a minute. This will be my saving grace. I will buy a bicycle to be my per, uh, priority delivery person. Go for it. Yes. Now go! Pick a priority mail! Do it! Or don't! I know not what to do with this. Post office envelope? No. That's in that's not right. Newspapers? Flowers? TV? Air conditioner? Water. There are so many other things to know. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on right now. I have assigned the priority vehicle to this package here, but there is no priority vehicle. I... I am lost. What do I do? Do I have post offices? What do I do about this? I choose to picture them as the cycling hero for One Punch Man. Oh, he's going for it. Or at least, he's trying. Letter delivery? I'm not delivering letters. Parcels? I'm not sure what to do with this. Well, Mrs. Succeeded. Oh my god, wait a minute. Wait, wait, I did it? Wait, what? I did it! I have apparently retrieved the Wait a minute! Oh my god, it must have been the cycling man! Wait, there's the car! There he goes! Oh my god! Business I just gave ten I just got nine thousand dollars! Nine thousand coin! Oh my god! Look at this! Business is booming! Everything is moving. This is what logistics is all about. It's about seeing the beauty of your kingdom moving on its own. The snail's pace has finally grown quick enough to match the strength and speed of a cheetah. Or Hermes himself. Wow. Now I can click it again. My priority vehicle is assigned to this package already. Okay, okay. The mission complete. Hire five workers to get three bonus stars. I did it. I did it. But I still haven't clicked the priority panel. <laughs> I'm still on the tutorial. <laughs> I have no idea what to do about this. My god. What is this? To give the world its mail with swift devastation. To blight all package thieves in every nation. To denounce the goodness of letters and packages. To extend our reach to the stars above. FedEx. Amazon. Team mail surrender. Package thieves. All prepared to fight. Fight, 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 you ugly mugs. Alas, it seems that the cyclists have no match for me. Grubhub, don't worry about it. Uber Eats, we don't need them. All we need is our nation's mail system to save the day. 
Denounce the goodness of the products we're peddling? Listen, we don't have any people on our marketing team. I did not hire any marketing agents. Okay, but I... So, something good did happen. And I have money now. So this is good. Oh, maybe I should speed up things. Very fast speed. Oh. Oh, wait, do I need a... Wait, do I need another priority parcel? Do I need another priority? No duty, no task. You don't have a task. What about the other guy? Task? Don't you have a task? Task, no task. There is no task. Uh... <laughs> Look, Astro didn't read into this. Simply typed it. It's okay, Astro. If I were paying you for marketing, I would expect much, much more. But it's a good thing I'm not paying anybody today. So this is okay. This is what we get for free labor. Honestly, I think it's top-notch work for free labor. All right, so how the heck... Did I miss something with this priority stuff? I wish there was, like, an additional tutorial button. Oh, am I... I'm just back to the main menu now. Um, no, 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 we can continue. Oh, I can save my game. Wow, I should really save my game while I'm at it. Mailmon. Mailmon, gotta mail them all. I know it's a destiny. And the mail, this, this, where's my mail? Wait a minute, oh, where's my mail? This is my best friend in a world I must Continue moving forward. Me and this man, me and this mailman, together, we're gonna rule the world. Me and dear Twitch and YouTube, man, because that's what's written on the package. A little envelope here. That was pretty cool. All right, so this is my current working hypo hypothesis. I have no idea why this priority thing ain't working. So I'm just gonna like zoom all the way through until it runs out of time. It's great. Astro's caused me to be clipped twice? Awesome! Thanks, dude! This bump! Wow, that looks really dark in the light. In the, when there's no light. See, this is where the lighting is. But when I get closer to the camera, it all starts going dark. But I can't reach my hand out that far, so I guess we're not gonna... I can't go further with, with that. Anyway, how's everyone's day going? There's no priority mail. Click, click, click. My priority vehicle is already assigned to this package. I cannot do literally anything about this. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I failed the one priority mail mission and it was just like, dun dun dun. That was terrifying. I guess this is where the tutorial stops. I don't know what else to do. There's no more priority mail. I think I failed the tutorial. It stops at 94, apparently. What a nice even number. Okay. Okay, then. I'm just gonna continue post officing, I guess. I'm gonna use the tools that I have at my disposal and just go i want to purchase a new mailbox mailbox i want more mailboxes but i also or manage post boxes i don't have any post boxes over here do you want to buy new post boxes i absolutely do absolutely i got more post boxes this is i'm just now there's no pressure there's no post gods attempting to meddle with the hands of fate it's just us it's just the mail system what we know and love Excuse me. Oh my god. I need to consume to keep my gullet all wet. Okay. Now there's post boxes. And the music, honestly, the music for this game has me all over the place. It's either super upbeat, a little suspenseful, or eerie. There really hasn't been any in between. My prices are low, and our speeds are fast. I think. More gas. Oh, right, gas. Oh, well, I have stars. Should buy more post boxes. Post mailboxes. Post offices. I will buy 
There are only a couple places for post offices in this town. This is a really shitty town. Can I make more post offices? I, I mean, I suppose. Like, maybe I should upgrade this one to a... Oh, I can't upgrade it. What if I sell it? Oh, I actually don't have a lot of money. <gasps> Wait, do I not have enough for another post box? It seems that I am still a broke boy. Maybe there's not a lot of money in the logistics industry. Postcard. 21 out of 5. Mail. 60 out of 12. Oh, that's just how many... Wait, do my... Do my post boxes run out? Are they running out of fuel? My condition is only 94% over here. Oh, that's my vehicle. Is this my vehicle? I'm... I can't help but feel concerned. Oh, these are my cars. Maybe I need to require more people. Look at this. Did I gain money from that? I'm lost. I'm lost in this world without a guide anymore. What will I do? What is the goal in this case? How do I move beyond this simple city of mine? I just noticed it is still Monday. The day has never passed. This day never ends. There is no Monday beyond. I'm just going to keep this going and maybe another priority mail of it will just pop up every once in a while. I... I don't know what I've caused for myself. In any case... Let's continue. I can't buy more post offices. It's always Monday around here. I don't think I can buy more post boxes. I can advertise better. Yeah, let's advertise better. Oh, okay. Apparently this runs until day 15. Oh, we're on day 8, so time is proceeding. I think. I hope. I hope so. Music is giving like Minecraft vibes. Honestly? I like how chill it is. It feels very chill to me. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh my god. Night has finally fallen upon this day. Jump to the beginning of the day. Okay. Thank you for jumping for me, game. I appreciate that. Um. Okay. We shall continue then. Making a little bit of money. Take a look at that. Look at the money. Look at the money. It's still in. No nighttime, only daytime. Because monsters come out at night. <laughs> you cannot sleep. You cannot deliver mail now. There are monsters nearby. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I can buy an additional. Um... Oh, a mission was completed. Reach 500 reputation. I'm up. Where's my reputation? I'm doing something good. This is working. I have no idea how, but somehow we've conquered the logistics system. Maybe. Although I still need to check the priority panel. What is the priority panel? Is it the thing that just pops up randomly? Maybe there will be another one. I, I know not. Let's try to purchase another vehicle. Let's get some more vehicles. Let's... Can I buy another car? That feels irresponsible. I'm not gonna buy another car. Instead, I'm gonna fill up... I'm gonna fill up my parking spaces, waste all that space with bicycles. Go ahead now. Come on in, little bicycles. It's okay. You will be a postbox collector. So go get them. Oh, I see. The bicycles only have... Ah, uh, their path number is different. Now I understand the stakes. You will do instantly. Because I don't yet know any sort of benefit to making you not go instantly. Alright, you... Can be a packet collector. Are there packets to collect? Here, be a packet collector. I don't know. How about you go down here? There's packets there. There's packets there. 64. Oh, this one's got a lot of packets. This one, not so much. Oh, well. Look at that. Our packet collector will go forth and collect the packets. All right. Yeah, go instantly. Go for it. Get the packets. You got packets? You got packets, my friend? I will deliver them for you. 
That's what I do. Packet delivery. Do I want to deliver packets? Sure. It is now the beginning of the day. Oh, I just realized. I forgot. I am going at really fast speed. Let's make these decisions in a quicker amount of time comparatively. Packets. Mail. There's more mail. There is more mail. Do I have any mail? Oh, I have a mail truck. Picking up mail from the post box, right? Is that... Mail delivery. Incoming package needed. I'm looking at all the different things. I am still confused. But only slightly now. Oh, what is this? That's green. Oh! I guess the post boxes, like, fill up eventually. They must fill up eventually. That must be how this works. Right? It must be. Okay. Okay. This is going well. We're making money, I think. Maybe not. I'm unsure. I require... How much does it cost to buy more people? 40? That's not much at all. Haha, <laughs> -ha, yes indeed. This place better not get robbed. So I'll <laughs> hire somebody to protect this place. <laughs> I want to hire this person. And I also want to hire this person. <laughs> I will employ the good people of this neighborhood for the good of the logistics empire. And now... Mission succeeded. I did it again! I have no idea how. What did I do this time? I hired 10 workers. Yes, yes, that is that is something that I definitely did do. Great job, everybody. Couldn't have been here without everyone. Thank you. 10 to all of my 10 employees right now. I love you. Anyway, let's get back to work, <clears throat> shall we? I believe I need more vehicles down here. I think I do. What if if I go back to the city view? What can I what can I see right now? I can see I can see that there are little there's like cargo trucks over top of some of the boxes. Um that's because I have these modes on. So I have cargo trucks. Postal boxes. I got that. Letter delivery. I'm not delivering any letters up here. I feel like I should be delivering letters. Let's go for it. Cam would be an interesting boss less coworker to have. According to my current coworkers, I seem to fit in quite well. I'm inclined to agree. You can check out my LinkedIn profile. It's public information. Just search up Cameron J. Cal. That's my name. That, that's me. That's me. You can find me on LinkedIn. I can upgrade my staff. Oh. I can upgrade my workers to become cyborgs, is probably what they're saying, right? Definitely. Am I super social at work, too? Actually, well, within reason. If I'm working on stuff, I get, like, kind of how that I am known to be able to stream for multiple hours at a time, up to, apparently, 14 hours, and at a minimum of, say, about an hour. I can get incredibly focused on what I'm doing, in which case, like, I have no problem with, like, not letting somebody, like, completely interrupt what I'm doing. Like, I am more than happy to turn my focus away from the work that I'm doing to have a conversation with someone. I'm a bit of a social butterfly when I want to be, but I, I, I mean, I'd say 90% of the time, I am in an environment where I can totally be bothered. But for the other 10% of the time, like, I take my laptop with me, I get a little quiet and I focus on things. Depends on what kind of job needs to be done. I like my coworkers, they're wonderful people. I'm happy with that current position. I feel like I've never had, I, I've never had bad coworkers. I feel like all the coworkers I've had have been pretty good. There have been some questionable ones, but everyone pretty good. Pretty good so far. Nobody recently. Everybody's been pretty good. Pretty good recently. So how do I deliver mail? You can be delivering mail, right? You can deliver mail? Letter delivery. You must deliver letters. Go. Go upon your path. Actually, I think I need an actual truck for this one. No, no, I definitely need a truck for this one. This is the logistics of it all. I can see it now. This is starting to make sense. This is how the real postal system works. I'm gonna sack this vehicle. Just kidding. I sell vehicles. I sack employees. I know this now. Correction. Oh, I can also buy, like, other... I have enough reputation to buy more... Different... Better vehicles, I guess? Buy. You will be a letter person. Go. Add your path. Go to every single person on the block. Deliver your mail. Be happy. Don't worry. Deliver mail now. Don't worry.
library. Ooh. Deliver packages. Ooh. Don't worry, mail packages. Or you'll be fired. Actually, you won't even be fired. You'll be sacked. That's how it works at this company, apparently. You don't get fired, you get sacked. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I do. I do know what that means. Hit the sack. Get out of here, pal. Hit the road. Leave. I feel like I should adjust my prices now. Now that I'm kind of understanding that I have to make money in this business. Oh, what's going on here? Coverage fault. Yeah, I'm not covering a lot of the cities. They're fired via slang. I'm gonna sack your mom! Because your mom works for the postal business! Consider your mom sacked. She's out of here. I'm pretty sure football players also get sacked too. I think that's when you run into a fellow p uh, player. Why are you screwing your mom? That's your dad's job! Or maybe I am your daddy! Paternity pe test pending. I am too young to have children your age. Hmm. No. Um, okay, fine, fine. I am nobody's parent. I don't want to be anybody's daddy. Not today. I still have six more years on that ticking clock. Daddy? We have a son. I'm not here. All we have is the letter. It's letter with an X. Letterx, if you will. I will now deliver packages. You know what they say, see no evil. Anna, we have a son, but he's older than you in, in, in South Jersey. He's younger than me though. That's my buddy like us. He's my son, or at least we claim he is. I have many children, per se, but nobody can prove that. There are no tests to prove that, I promise you that. I got plenty of vehicles going out now. Making a little bit of money? How do I change my prices again? Prices. There we go. I'm gonna raise my packet price by double. And my express packet by 12. Postcards. Express letter? That definitely requires a little bit more. Postcard? I don't know. That's fine. What? Says Astro Dizzy Kwan. <laughs> it's a din side joke. He calls me daddy. Or dada. Actually, he calls me papa most of all. I miss my son. Glenny boy, I hope you're doing well out there. Actually, I just I just watched his most recent. So, my buddy Lycos also does YouTube videos, and I actually just finally watched all the way through a video where he, for 50 minutes, he sat there consuming an onion covered in caramel There's sauce. There's not something wrong with our boy, Anna. There's something incredibly right with our boy. He ate a cal onion, like a caramel apple. It was a caramel onion. Yo, Anna just delivered me Kit Kats, and I don't know why. They're all different flavors. We've got the regular, the white, and the dark. Interesting. <laughs> I will consume those given the opportunity to. But first, we must focus on making money. Hey, look, we're making money. And the weird retro punk music is still going in the background, but no priority mail yet, which means I cannot yet proceed with the tutorial. Wait. A person with a peanut allergy can eat Kit Kat. There's no peanuts in it. There's wheat and soy. Contains milk, wheat, soy, manufactured in a facility that processes peanuts. Milk, wheat, and soy ingredients. Allergy information. Manufactured in a facility that also processes peanuts. Onto the white one. Milk, wheat, and soy ingredients. Allergy information. Manufactured in a facility that processes peanuts. Weird to think about. It's recommended not to eat, but they could. If you are deathly allergic to peanuts, I would not recommend Kit Kats. However, if you are questioning your peanut allergy this, go ahead, give it a try. What's there to lose? Just make sure you have your Heppy Pen on standby if you don't already have one. And if you don't, well, there's one, <laughs> there's one way to find out, I suppose. Get an allergy test. Cross-contamination is a 
Astra had a friend who had a nut allergy and was totally fine with eating peanuts. My mother has a shellfish allergy and... Well, she eats shrimp every once in a while and then she stabs herself with her EpiPen. Not the way that the doctor intends her to use it, but when you've got a craving... Why fight the fire when you can jump into the flames? That's a bad metaphor. Why fight the current when you can swim along with it, right? Why, why bike ride against the wind when you can go right through it? That's a better analogy. Euphemism? Metaphor? I don't know. Oh my god, this city is growing. Is this city actually growing? Wow. I need to make more money. I can make more money by upgrading my employees. I will upgrade you for... Oh, two star. Oh, they're only upgraded temporarily? That's blasphemy. I don't like that. Well, currently, I'm not getting enough customers to, to, to warrant more workers. Okay. Astro's got superior genetics when it comes to food. I, as of right now, crossing my fingers, do not have any significant food allergies. I have this thing that happens when I eat pineapple where the roof of my mouth kind of gets a welt on it and it feels a little funny, but it's definitely not an allergic reaction that can put me at harm. I just note it. I think it's because of the bromelease inside of these punctual pineapple fruits. Probably. I don't really know. Are pineapples really punctual? I'm not exactly sure. Let's buy, let's buy upgrades. Oh, what is this? Morale bonus for price. Price? What does price mean? Does that mean I can charge more for my services? This was not explained to me properly. Price? What What can I do? Gives me a morale bonus to my staff? Customers like having newspapers? Sure they do. They also like having smartphones. Flowers improve the appearance of a post office? Absolutely. So do windows. It's dark in here. Customers like having a TV in the small office? Yeah, so do the co so do the workers. They work less because they're too busy watching the, watching the desperate housewaves of Postopolis, which is the town I am now claiming to live in. Interesting. These people are blue. These ones are black. Interesting. I'm not sure what that means in this game. People probably work harder, causing them to work better, which will get more money. But I think, I think, this is my working hypothesis. Post God never told me. There are there are customers that line up here, so I would think that that would only matter if I realized that I have too many customers waiting in line. Which clearly, as of right now, I don't. What, what is this? What is this? Waiting for transfer. I have six packages waiting for transfer. Transferred over, oh. Should upgrade my vehicle. Duty time, task instantly. Are you doing your thing? Oh, you are doing your thing. Oh, look at you. Look at you, you're doing your transfer. Wait, let's put that on fast mode. Oh my god, it actually worked. Okay, I don't need to worry about the transfer right now. There's no... There, that, I have a transfer truck that can go back and forth. That's totally fine. Why do the ones in the front have hats, but the other two don't? Oh, see, these ones are the sorters. They sort your mail. They're the ones who deserve that higher-ranking official cap. Because hats are only for special people who get paid more. Although I don't actually think that these guys were paid any more than the other ones. I don't think. I honestly, I, I don't remember. I think I should buy another post office. I don't have enough for another post office yet. I still must wait. How are we doing? Apparently my, um, what else have we got going on here? Waiting for delivery, 13 letters. This is going swimmingly. I think I should just like, everything's fine right now. This is a pretty well-oiled delivery system. I see no reason to improve as of right now. I think, I think we're okay for now. I think we're gonna be just fine. You, me, and the postman. Actually, quite pleasant. Once you, once you kind of get past the whole, like, the post god referring to themselves in the first person point of view is telling you how to go about your daily life and then just, just yeeting out of existence at the most inopportune moment and you have nowhere to go. Like, aside from that aspect, like, this is pretty quaint. Like, oh, thanks, God. You just kind of, like, left me on my own after having, like, literally held my hand for this entire adventure so far. Like, thanks, post God. Or whatever you happen to be. Post deity? In any case. So despite the fact that I increased my prices, I think I'm still getting money. What does my statistics say? My reputation keeps going up. Wonderful. My mail statistics. I am delivering more packages. I have not had any problems with the mail. There also has been absolutely no robberies since the tutorial told me there would be. This is good. General statistics. Things are going up. 
Things are going up in this world. If God let you govern Earth for a month, what would I do first? If I was able to govern Earth? Honestly, I think I see what he's talking about. I feel like I'd go to another planet. This planet's already got everything it needs to continue going forward. I'd go to another planet. I'd play God on another planet. I'd be like, you know, Earth is cool, but it's already got, like, sentient life. I'm gonna go to Jupiter. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make life on Jupiter. And the humans will be trying to rack their brain about how the hell I did it. But I'll make it happen. I'll just be like, boop, that's it. But I guess that the question was whether if I would go good govern Earth. The solar system seems like a pretty cool uh, makeshift marbles game. Sounds like it'd be fun. Or maybe I played pool with the solar system, just like they did in that one anime, Death Parade. Good show. Good show. Jump to the beginning of the day. Oh, I see. It jumps to the beginning of the day because I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any... Um, I don't have any vehicles that are working at, in, the, in the night shift. So it skips to the top of the day where there's a bunch of mail that's already been built up, which honestly isn't too much of an issue. When is my my advertising is still going? This is like a long this is a long term game. This is not a game that this doesn't seem like to be a game that you can just like like pick up and beat in a day. This is a very long term thing. I honestly so as a part of kind of what I'm attempting to do now is I'm trying to work through my Steam library. This happened to be one of them that caught my eye. For all I know, might come back to this. This has been an excellent journey so far, but we gotta keep things moving otherwise. I don't keep things moving. But I might say, I, I don't know. I don't think I want to leave Mailroom with an X completely behind. This is lovely. <laughs> I like this. Now that things are actually moving, I mean, for the most part, I just kind of sit here and watch the game do its thing. Look at it go. Look at all these parcels. They're flying all around. The vehicles are just doing their thing. I don't have a good coverage in this city, but uh, whatever. My competition's not doing so, so good. Well, if the vi this vial is high, then try to expand more area. The coverage keeps getting higher. Wow, okay. The computer is definitely doing better. They're doing better mail than me. They've got more star than me. I have one star. What? What does that mean? No, I don't. Ah, I've been outbid by my competition. We'll make it work. I, like, I need more money to buy another post office. Clearly. Or I need to, like, upgrade the post offices that I already have. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God, wait a minute. Oh, as the city expands... I gain access to more areas. Well, okay, let's think about this methodically, right? This area of the city seemed to seem to develop the latest. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Is there a whole other town? What in the There's a whole other city! <laughs> what the <laughs> What the hell? I had no idea there were more I, I knew there were more cities, but like it didn't instruct me that there would be. Can I can I buy post offices over here? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just gonna... This is, how, you know, this is how you smoke out your competition. You literally go into their turf and you start taking over their business. That's how we're gonna smoke out the competition. Um, or maybe I should look at this suburban area over here. Yeah, there's like nobody here. There's like nobody here. If I get the medium, I will cover most of this. Um, but what if I... Can I zoom out? It will not let me zoom out anymore. But look at, look at that! I did a thing. It's my weekly report. My weekly total is down. I don't know how it was. That sound gets me every time. Dude, the sound effects of this game are actually not super bad at all. Interesting. I'm now at the beginning of the day. So if I get this one at medium, I'll be missing five and if i get this one at medium i'll be missing four so it's better to get that one that's just just how it be but that requires more than double the amount of money that i already have right now all right well it's day 15 so that means i can increase my advertising Did i can change no i'm still in the tutorial i am perpetually Ow. stuck at step at number 94 i don't know but the game has decided to just continue and so i will roll with it now that that's all over i am going to spend as much money as possible for a TV ad. Let's do it. Are you sure you want to place this advert? Think about this for a moment. Is television really what you want? Yes. Day 22 will go out. Astro says burb. Well, burb to you too, sir. I'm just kidding. I'm going to stay right here. 
I, I take it back. I'm not going nowhere. I literally can't go nowhere. I'm stuck in a box. Look at me. I can't get out of this box. Just kidding. I can... The world exists beyond my container. Observe. Observe the world beyond my container. I am the post god. Anyway. But enough about me. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> That's correct, dear fiance, whose disembodied voice graces me from a distance. Mission succeeded. <laughs> I did it again! I don't know what I did. If your average delivery time is less than eight hours, you'll get ten bonus stars. Only applies after you have delivered 2,000 letters in total. Okay. All right. This is good. This is uh, sushi good. <laughs> Postal delivery good. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. All right. I've placed advertisements. I'm not making a lot of money. Could I increase my prices? The mail statistics are literally all over the place. Let me, let me try to identify these statistics a little bit better. My expenses are lowering. My income is fluctuating. My bonus stars are up and so is my rep. My money has gone down because I just made a purchase. Delivery time is fluctuating. Fault? I have no fault. There is no fault to be assigned to me, the post god master. Jump to the beginning of the day. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. General statistics. I don't know what to get from these. My, oh, finance statistics. That would probably be useful. I was not a finance major. I majored in engineering. But I do know how to read graphs. Observe. We like to see... Anna, please, your disembodied voice is scaring the guests. Please excuse the haunting, ladies, gods. gentlemen, and everyone else. Yeah, we can't all be male gods. Gods of the mail, the postal system, not mail as in <laughs> this hunk of man you see here. Ew. I'm kidding. That was disgusting. I take that back completely. I am not a hunk of man. I am so sorry, everybody out there. I'm sorry. Oh no! My vehicle broke down. Fix it. Apparently, we fix our vehicles by whacking them with a wrench, because that was the sound effect I just heard. Wait, where's my wrench? Anna, where's my large wrench? I have to whack my vehicles. I'll slam my computer and the stream will end. It would kill the stream. Not unless I hit it in the right place. Well, business is still booming. I'm still not making much money at all. Maybe I need to raise my prices. That seems like the smart thing to do, right? How many? Actually, store price? Store price? Oh, okay, I did that. I did not really update my prices, but thank you for that. Let's, let's slow this down. Let's slow this down for a hot second. But think about this. I need to see how many of each thing that I deliver. Because then I can see what I can make the most money off of. So I must go to the graph. That was not the graph. This is the graph. Mail statistics. Daily deliver, daily mail. What about daily priority packages? There have been no priority packages, not since the one that I missed. And that caused me to get stuck on the tutorial. Packages. Packages are up. Okay, there is only statistics for packages. So I suppose I should raise my price for the packages. Because that's the only metric that I can see will change by me affecting my prices. Packets. Oh, packages. Oh, these are all packages. I guess. I suppose. Still confused. I will increase... The price of everything by two. Now my prices are better. Let's continue along with this fun fun. I've increased the staff at all of my places. I don't feel the need for any of them to upgrade right now. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't think I need to... I don't think I need to add any more vehicles. I guess there are some areas of the city that I don't yet have covered. So let me, let me see if I can... You know, top those off. How do? How do, how do? Let's think about the mailboxes. 
All the mailboxes being served? No. There are two more mailboxes that need to be served. I think I should replace one of those bicycles with a car. All right. The one that is doing the mailboxes. You. Postbox collector. You're sacked. Goodbye. I will replace you with an actual vehicle. What a good vehicle. Nice vehicle. Wonderful. Now we'll deliver all the packages. I just spent a bit of money, but you know what? They say you gotta make money to win, get money. You, they say you need the money, um... Done spend your cash to get more cash. And that's the gospel truth. You will be a postbox collector. You will have a path all around the city. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Take a look at all the mail. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you will go instantly. There you go. Wow, look at that! Another achievement! Mission! Did I do it? I've reached 5,000 reputation, which means absolutely nothing to me, because I have no idea what the reputation does for me! Perhaps the tutorial would have covered that if Post God didn't decide to just get me. Wow, something's broken down. Repair. Repair. Oh, my goodness, it takes so much work to be a Post God. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a Post God. Oh, look at this. This area of the city is increasing. Maybe I can increase the amount of post things over here. Uh, add path. Can, are there more paths to add? No, there's just nothing there because it is a, it is a, um, what do you call that thing? It's a park. There is no residential area here. It is a park. It is fine. Hmm. What else do we do? I could purchase upgrades for my post offices, but it doesn't feel good. I mean, I feel like, okay, the only way I'm gonna make money is to spend money. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my way over to this suburban area at a quick rate, so I think instead of trying to save my money up for it, I'm just gonna try to buy another post office. At whatever price that I can. Post office. Purchase post office. Post office. Mail. Postcard. You for twelve nine hundred. That's good. Eleven two fifty. That's fine. Um, but you're kind of in areas that I already know about. What about developing districts? Like uh, over here, fifteen three hundred. That's okay. Let's go with one that's uh not expensive. It seems like the ones in my hometown are the least expensive for the most part. This one's pretty cheap over here. What about this one? 16, okay. Can't zoom in anymore, tried that. Try over here. These ones are, I like these ones. 16, 50. Oh, but I was trying to buy a medium one over here. That's what I was attempting to do. Okay, what about, ah, it doesn't seem useful. What about you? Let's, let's keep the, oh, the speed's already going at this rate, okay. I guess I'll just, I'll buy a small post office. Which post office? This one, I guess, 12,900? Oh, 11250 is the cheapest one that I can find. I like that. That's fine. Astro's back. Snaps for you. Thank you for coming back. I thought you might have been gone forever, testing your peanut allergy by eating a Kit Kat of all things. To be fair, if you're really trying to test your peanut allergy, I'd recommend the peanut butter first for immediate results. It's not safe, though. Just get an allergy test. Mission succeeded. I'm rolling in stars, baby. I'm rolling in the dough. My average delivery time is less than seven hours. I get 20 bonus stars. Only applies after delivering 3,000 letters in total. Yay! And my vehicles have broken down. A classic move. I'll repair you. I will try to fix you. I um, don't have a penile allergy. My mistake. What do you have an allergy to? Nothing? Just like the lucky ones. <laughs> You're cured. <laughs> Congratulations. You may now eat peanuts freely again. And I... I am going to eat the only thing that I know that I have an allergy to. Pure nickel metal. I am going to eat nickels. Which don't actually contain a very high trace amount of nickel. So I guess I'm good. I guess I'll be okay. In any case. I'm just trying to make 1,000 more dollars. If I can make 1,000 more dollars, then I will be able to purchase another post office. Don't feel lost, Astro. 
Just accept the fact that you are not allergic to peanut peanuts anymore. Perhaps you may have thought to yourself that you weren't allergic to peanut peanuts. You were probably right, but now you know for sure. Because you have gotten not only a second opinion, but a third opinion as well. And as you know, we are licensed individuals around here. I'm a licensed postmaster, according to this video game, and Anna is a licensed student, according to her university. Let me get off my high horse for a little bit and put my collar back down. I almost have enough for another post office. If you put a nickel tails side down in a photograph, you would be a big troll to anyone coming into your house. If I put a nickel tails sail down in a photograph, you would be a big troll to anyone coming into my house. Ah, because they'd be like, yo, look, a nickel. And they'd be like, oh, just kidding. This is a photograph. Actually, you know what's a, a similar move that I have seen in the, employed in the city? People will literally super glue coins to the street, like in the middle of a sidewalk. I have seen it done before. I have fallen for it myself. You'll bend down, you'll try to pick it up, and you'll be like, that's not coming off of the ground. It is not the first time I've seen this. Somebody out there is deviant, and they are trying their best to completely mess with us. Oh, I'm losing my money again. Well, apparently raising my price was good, right? Statistics, let's go back to the statistics. Have I mailed more packages? The no total number of packages is going up. It's not going up very fast, but probably because I don't have enough, like, mail places. I need more ground to cover. So I must wait. Unless, can I upgrade my post offices? I actually never thought about this. Wait a minute. Manage post box. Post office. Upgrade. May I upgrade? Oh, this is post box. Silly me. Can I upgrade? No, I can only sell... And repurchase. Interesting. You could say, hey, look at this photograph. It would just be the back of a nickel. I think I'll get this better. Nickelback. Oh my god. Nickelback. I like Nickelback. I don't think there are enough people out there who are a fan of Nickelback. I don't quite remember what songs they do, but I'm pretty sure I like Nickelback. Let's take a look at what songs I've liked by Nickelback, because now I'm trying to remember what songs by Nickelback that I enjoy. What songs is Nickelback known for? How You Remind Me, Far Away, Rockstar. Actually, Rockstar is one of my favorite songs. I do like Nickelback. I'm through with standing in lines to cause I'll never get in. It's like the bottom of the night and I'm never gonna win. This life hasn't turned out quite the way I want it to be. Tell me what you want. I want a delivery truck that's got no limit and a big post box with a mail room in it. Gonna join the, uh, I don't know. Gonna join the postal search so I can serve my community. Cause we all just want to be postmasters and ride around the town in our big, big cars. I'll mail you anything with that evil style. Everybody's got priority on speed dial, yeah. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be a postmaster. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be a postmaster. And to prove that, I am gonna purchase another post office to forever, to continue to grow my monopoly. I'll get a small one. Which will hopefully grow into a bigger one. Wow, look at the weekly report. It's joining the Mile High Club. I know it's joining the Mile High Club. At 37,000 feet. I do really like that song. Usually I know all the words to it, but I get a little stage fright sometimes, so. Ha, <laughs> just the beginning of the day. Oh my God, a robbery. I, I failed robbery? Did I lose money? Oh, I didn't really steal that much. How did I fail a robbery? I literally have a security guard, I thought. You didn't do your job. I should sack you. I should, but I won't. I will not sack you today. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm gonna actually buy a new post office now. Oh. I have changed your color, and now you are a beautiful red. As opposed to the pink color that you were before. Is it to t attempt to match your hair? Well, I guess your hair was, is kind of pink right now. I think the heart of red still runs strong. I love it. 
I could buy another post office. How cheap are these? Yo, small post office for 10 dollars 50 That's a steal. Yo, this one for $320? Yo, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that post office. Yes! I got another award! Ugh. Astro's gotta re-dye his hair. I think you just need to do whatever's best for you. Although, if you're checking for color ideas, I've heard a nice royal blue looks very great this time of the year. I I've always wanted, if I was gonna dye my hair anything, it'd be like a powerful darkish blue. That's what I would go with. I got more rep. Anna's definitely doing work. I doubt that. Time to link this post office with the other one. Oh, I need a delivery van. I I'm, kind of get I'm getting the gist of this. I'm gonna hire you. Yeah. I'm gonna hire you. Yes. And I'm also gonna hire. Well, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hire everybody. There you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I'll also hire. This guy. It's defiant. The color red is defiant. Oh no, my vehicle broke down. Can I like jump to where that vehicle's location is? Nope, I have to crawl the earth. All right, you're fixed now. All right, let's get you a nice, let's get you a nice transfer van. How about this guy? Yeah, this guy? Yeah, buy that. Let's make you into a transfer vehicle, post transfer. And then your task will be always, instantly. Just go do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing. Go girl, yeah, you do your thing. <laughs> Uh, can I connect it to this guy? There we go. Now look at that. I can also delete my links if I so choose to. All right. Well, now that I've got that linked up, I have post office. Post office is good. I will purchase another car. I can also get these other things. I can unlock these now. But I, like, is it worth it? It costs more and it's a little faster? I'd rather, <laughs> I just want a fleet of six wheelers that only have six wheels. These trucks only have six wheels, so they're not actually that, they're not that big. They could definitely be bigger. I've definitely seen bigger trucks, but a six wheeler, not too bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. So there's bicycles, motorbikes, standard car, superior car, standard van, superior van, standard truck, superior truck. That's how it has to be. I don't know if I... I can literally buy a whole nother post office for the price of this particular van. I gotta wait till my empire gets real big. Gosh. You wouldn't even have competition in the end, right? I wouldn't even. With all my with all my trucks, with all of my post offices, with all the parcels being delivered and packaged across the world, or at least across the tri-state area, tri-city area, tri-city area? There's, there's a suburb in two cities. Tri-city area. Or Tri City area, um, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get the regular car. I'll be okay with that. You will. Uh, oh, I need to build. I need to build post boxes. I need to deliver mails. I definitely need to deliver mail. Letter delivery. Your path will be. Okay, you're just gonna go instantly. But your path, your path. Oh, now that's the thing. Your path, your path, your path, your path, your path. Thank you for doing the path you do. Nice. I also need another car. For post offices, I will also make it... Oh, I need post offices. I need post boxes first. So, post box. Oh, you know what? I can buy... I can buy greater capacity mailboxes. I should just do that. Yeah. It doesn't cost that much to get a high capacity post box. So let's go for it. Yeah, actually, let's upgrade all the post, uh, the post boxes. That, that seems... That seems good. Now I'll get a mail truck. Or a post box collector truck. Add a path. Go to every single post box. There you go. Easy. Totally easy. And you will do so immediately. I would be the have the infinity post office. Dude, I want the infinity post office so I can be like this and everyone's mail gets delivered. Or everyone's mail quantity gets... All of the mail quantity of my competitors gets slashed in half. Mr. Postmaster, I don't feel good. I'll do it myself. I like this imagery in my head. I have done something else wonderful for the town. What is it? I bought 10 vehicles. Excellent. There has still been no priority mails. Priority mail just doesn't exist. 
But if there was a priority mail, I have one bicyclist who can go get it. Or perhaps I had two. Did I have two? I think I had two. Wow, my god, wow. The city over here is just, like, bustling. And I'm gaining money. This is totally working. How's this going down here, though? Do we have... Waiting for delivery? Oh, things are fine. Things things seem... Yeah, they're totally fine. Totally fine. All right, well, let's, let's give it a pause. I'll manage my post offices. Let's just pause it. Yeah. Let's pause that for a hot second and just... I'll upgrade all the post offices. No, not the post offices. I'm sorry. I meant this one. Can I just, like, upgrade from here? Are you sure you want to change this post box's size? You may lose some letters if you use a smaller box size than now. Nah. I'm making bigger. It reverted. It reverted. That post box, for some reason, keeps reverting back to the single. All right. And I... Oh, now it's regular again. Now it's the three. All right. I have no idea what was going on there. All the post boxes are great now. I'm gonna deliver all the messages. Oh, did this, did this never have a... Are you sure I'm gonna buy a new post box? Oh, I never... Ah! Which means I can go here and add to the post box. No, it was already there. Oh, okay. It was already there, but there were... So I was able to assign to a space a post box truck, but there were no post boxes there. Also, I don't know why I keep calling it a post box. I know it is a mailbox. This game is changing the way I think about our postal system. Which is probably a good thing. I feel like I appreciate our postal system that more now. Alright. Go off, you... Postal warriors. Postal pariahs. Postal pariahs of the postal pastures. I'm okay with this. I am the delivery boy. This is excellent. This is going well so far, the Postal Empire. I don't see any cars moving around, so I don't know what's going on. Wait, the game is for- oh, because I had it paused. <laughs> That's odd. Mr. Post God, the world isn't moving. Ah, it's because I forgot to snap my fingers again. Snap on, snap off. Actually, are there keyboard shortcuts? Can I, like, pause the game just, like, the space bar? Pressing the space bar does nothing. Although, it does make funny sounds. Yeah, look at this. This is going great. I think this is going wonderfully. People are using the postal service. We're making money. Things are great. I should definitely push into my competitor's town. That'll be the next post office I buy. I will buy another post office. But which one? I should have enough for this one in a little bit. Oh, I already have enough for this one. This one's getting closer. I want to cover the most area possible. That would be here. This would be the best post office. But alas, I don't have that kind of choice right now. I will purchase a small post office in the area of my enemy. Are you sure you want to buy this post office? You're damn right I do. Wait a minute. Didn't I just... How did I gain money? Wait, that was... I definitely just spent all of my money on a post office. How did I... I had 1100 I had 11000 And I just spent about 11000 on a post office. <laughs> I am not going to question <laughs> this new world. <laughs> I will just abide by its rules. Mission success. Mission success indeed. Let's buy three cars. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm buying... You see that? The money keeps jumping up above 10,000. I think I broke it. I am literally the god of this world. I have absolute control over the logistics. Wow, what do I do with this power? My god. I think it's all going to my head. <laughs> I I do not know how to process this. This is this is cool. I'll connect it back to my postal empire. I literally make absolute I, I'm just I'm gaming the system. That's what's going on here. Oh well, fine. Let's buy more post on post boxes. Mailboxes. Buy more mailboxes. 
and we'll go back here and we'll assign them to the mailboxes. How dare I game this system? I am not doing this on purpose, ma'am. I am not. I'm not trying to, at least. It just happens to be working out for me. Look at that. It's working. Instantly. Go for it. I, I can buy another... I can buy another post office already. This is incredible. Wow. I'll be... I'll outrun my competitors in no time. You will be a packet collector. Oh, wait, I just noticed we're collecting packages, but I don't think I'm actually delivering them. I think I just noticed that. Wait a minute. This is... Add path. Add path. You will go here. This is your path. You will... This is your path. Accept it. I got more stuff. I, got... I did something else good. Hire 20 workers. Okay. 10,000 reputation. If I complete all the missions, do I win the game? I'm almost there. <laughs> If you have 100 bonus stars in your account, then you can enable the third city will to grow. Third city will to grow? I want 100 stars. I will get 100 stars on my account. That's what I will do. If I have five posts office, I get 10 bonus stars. Oh my god. If my money is over 80,000, it's it's not really getting there, but we'll get there. This is, this is incredible. Oh, what kind of post boxes did I buy? I, I bought the big ones. So wait, am I actually... Have I been delivering... Post boxes? Oh shoot, look at that. Everything's broken down. There must be a way for me to know, like, in an instant, how many, like, like, of my post trucks are all, like, broken down, because I feel like that would be good knowledge to know. Oh, also, my advertising budget went, ran out, so I should buy more TV, TV budget. And look at that. My money went back up to 10000 again. I think I've broken it. I have officially broken this game, I think. That aura, it's tutorial powers? Is the tutorial powers, I don't know what happens on easy mode. Am I on like an easy, easy mode? Like super duper easy mode? I don't know, but I accept this premise and I will continue with it for I benefit from this directly. I can buy this for 1140. Let's just buy it. Can I just buy it? Do you want to purchase? I do. I don't have enough money. Okay, so at least it checks to see that I have enough money to purchase first. I lost money, but then I went back up money. This is very, very interesting. Curiouser and curiouser as I continue down the rabbit hole that is the Postal Service. You know, if this is really an accurate representation of what the Postal Service is like, then I have no idea why they would run so late all the time. They apparently have an infinite currency source to source from. Maybe it's the government bailing me out because I'm I'm a central service for the people of the community. And if the post office isn't working, then it's clearly something's going wrong. How could the post office run out of money? They can't possibly. In other news, Astro was downloading a game in ways to make it free, and you'll finally be able to start playing a game you've wanted to stream for so long. Which game is it? I'm curious now. I will hopefully be able to pop on. I like, I gotta say, Astro over here does Chaos Super Mario Sunshine streams, or has been in the past, and I enjoy popping into those when I can. It's kind of like regular Super Mario Sunshine, except random shit winds up happening. They'll fly up into the air, or electrify, or like swim with the suit on. It's pretty interesting. It's Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I know nothing about that game, but I do like Spider-Boy. And because I, I love Spider-Boy so much, I'm gonna buy a post office in his honor. Let's buy one, also in the in the, um, the rival city, because that that makes sense, right? Hell yeah! Oh, but I don't have enough for that one. What about this one? Nope. How about this one? Got it. Post office. My post office now. That's ten more stars. Excellent. I will soon have ten hundred. Spider-Man: Web of Shadows is way ahead of its time. Nice. Are we talking like we talking like ten-ish years? What system is it for, anyway? Actually, I can, I can probably look this up. Web of Shadows. Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. Eventually, I'll get there. Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. Aha! It seems to be for... PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, the Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS, and Microsoft Windows. Apparently, I can also purchase this game, for I do have a Windows. Unless it, unless we're talking like like Windows CD. Actually, I w I uh, I saw um I stopped by my parents' place over the weekend, 
And apparently we found some CD, they, she, my mother had found some CD-ROM games in the basement. Or rather, she opened up the CD-ROM case and there was no CD-ROM on the inside. And specifically, those games were Sims 3 and Spore. And I was like, you really don't need CD-ROMs anymore because because they're all online. I own both of those games on Steam. I don't even need the, the, um, the, the discs anymore. I won bonus stars. Yay. Jump to beginning of day. Excellent. I require... Right, I need to put the correct... I need to put people here. I need to put um, vehicles here, which I will not ever run out of money for. Excellent. All right, let's buy one vehicle. You know what? Whatever. Let's just buy all the vehicles. All the vehicles. There's another vehicle. There's another vehicle. There's another vehicle. I bet... What I bet is that... In the tutorial mode, the game was programmed in such a way to make sure that you don't soft lock yourself so that you don't run, like, for example, running out of money and not being able to make any money. They probably put that in to protect me from that. But it seems that we've learned to take advantage of it somehow or another, all because we didn't choose. You know what? It seems that you would think that if you, if you restrict your options for purchase, restrict your options for services. For example, my company doesn't do priority mail. We will not pick up packages that are labeled with the exclamation point. We won't do it. Snake has no business here. However, we are making money otherwise because we are tapping into the infant flow of the government. I love it. Spider-Man Web of Shadows, its three elements were just kind of different for a superhero game at the time. Cool. I like the sound of that one. Good old Snake trying to go around on his priority shipping boxes. Well, I won't have it. You will be the transfer. You will do instantly. You will link this one to this one. That makes sense. Let's buy some post boxes. All the post boxes. I will literally never run out of money. Actually, how much money can I go down to? Oh, it seems that I can't go below 10,000. That seems to be what's going on there. Interesting. Well, let's get a post box collector. We'll add a path. Everybody gets a path. You get a path and you get a path. You get a mailbox and you get a mailbox. Everybody gets mailboxes. Nobody will ever be without a means to transport their parcels again. And now let's uh, pack it collector. Let's get all the packets. I like that. We'll make you go instantly. And like, I don't exactly know how this works, but let's do a, I don't know. Let's do packet delivery. Does the packet delivery go anywhere? I guess we can deliver packets. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Now we deliver packets, do it instantly. Let's just, let's just deliver packets at every single post office. I wasn't already doing that. So let's do it now. There's a car. Let's do packet delivery. Add my paths all the way around. Beginning of the day. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm cool with that. Gotcha. 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 Cool. Gotta do the instant. Yes. Instant ramen. Yes. Yes. Instant ramen. Okay. I think I can buy another post box. So let's. And then I'll go back to. Yeah, honestly, this, the postal delivery system ain't too bad when you really get the hang of it. What else we got going on here? I. You are the post box collector. So I will add your path to also go up here. Thank you, thank you, poster delivery. Eat ramen, respect warm. I, I like ramen. I haven't eaten ramen in a while. There are some really, really, I gotta say, there are some really, really awesome ramen places in Philadelphia, and I've been to a couple of them. One in particular is in uh, Center City. I don't remember. Eat ramen, respect, ah, uh, ramen. Like women. Eat ramen, respect woman. The W stands for woman or women. We should respect people in general. Eat ramen, respect the general popul populace. Yes, words to live by. Elsa, respect your local male people. They are doing their best, probably. Anyway, I'll collect more stars. I don't know how many stars. How many stars I get? 10 stars. Sweet. And now I have 100 stars, which means I get more stars. The third city will grow. Congratulations, the third city has started to grow. Oh, did I spend all of them? My vehicle broke down. What will I do? I'll repair it. I will find it. I have repaired you once more. Excellent. Any more broken things? You broke... What the... Where are you? Oh, you're on the side of the road. 
Shame. By that logic, are male people not actual people? Male po people are totally actual people. They just have a different job than actual people. It's like when you become a male person, you transcend your own humanity. Therefore, you become more than just actual people. You transcend to a next level of being. My vehicle is broken down again. And another vehicle is broken down again. I, I feel like... Is there a way to prevent vehicles from breaking down? What is this? Car service. Having car service is very useful. It is. I want that. I have car service now. What does that do for me? It is apparently very useful. Thank you, game. I, I appreciate that. Every place should have car service. You now have car service, too. Oh, and you should also have an additional packet collector. Post box collector. Mail delivery. Your priority mail. You don't need to be priority mail anymore. You're going to deliver packages. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Oh, look at this. I'm completely surrounded now. Instant. I think I need to modify the paths of the other ones. Change paths. Add you to the path. There we go. By that. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, indeed. People, people, people. What are you doing? You're collecting packets. You're the only person collecting packets? My goodness. Get sacked. I'm going to put a, an actual car in here. Actually, that means I can unlock the superior car and always afford it. But I need five more stars. So we'll get there eventually. You will be... Packet... Collector. Collect all the packets from every single location. This is the mail system we know and love. And I appreciate that. Instant. Instant mail. Instant parcel. Alright, so now you've got that. You're doing all of that. I think you require... To deliver pa- Actually, you're not picking up... What is it? Postbox collector? You're not actually delivering packages. So let's put you down there. Nope, don't do that. Postbox collector, postbox delivery. All of these guys. Excellent. Go instantly. I Because I don't have reason to assign you to any other. Not as of yet, at least. And you will be another packet collector. Honestly? This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. Honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I have basically absolutely unlimited currency somehow i feel like i would still be enjoying i feel like i would still be enjoying this game this is that this is this is a relatively enjoyable game it's intuitive there doesn't seem to be that high stakes i kind of like games with with some higher stakes than this but i'm into it i'm cool with this you are a post box collector you are transferring oh okay but you're not Collecting packages. You need to collect packages. Don't worry about collecting packages. You will collect packages and you will do so instantly. And then you will also deliver packages. Somebody will deliver packages. You will deliver packages. And so we will continue with our postal adventure. Continuing onwards. It's a lovely day. Already. It's a lovely day in the postal neighborhood. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think it, there's been bad weather at all. There is literally no bad weather in Postal Town. So, like, where is the third city? Where is that third city? Jump at the beginning of the day. Excellent. I like that. Um, don't need nothing here. Although, repair shop sounds good. Cool. You'll also get a repair shop, right? Does that mean I, like, don't ever need to, um... Do I never need to repair again? Feels pretty good. If I never need to repair again. Where is this third city? Is it down here? Hello? Hello? Oh, third city. Well, bistu. I have no idea where this other city is. Although this city over here is getting pretty, uh, pretty wild. And these ones are kind of connecting together. Wow. Take a look at that. That's not too bad. I think I want to see how close am I to doing all of these missions. I want to try. If your money is over eighty thousand, you'll gain bonus stars. Okay, so I need to sit here and gain money. In order to get all the other stuff, I just need to sit here and gain money. That's all I need to do. I just need to gain money. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit here and gain money. It's that simple. I mean, technically, 
I would just gain that anyway at some point. Because the, the, the numbers are going up. I, I mean, I don't... How much money am I making? I wonder if the money that I gain back counts towards the total. Look at that. Expenses keep jumping up and down. Daily mail delivery count. It was down to zero for a little while. Interesting. I don't exactly know how to, like, to read these. I don't know what 559 means or 771. Like, I don't... Is that the expense value? But if that's the case, then why is it jumping up? Oh, no, no, those are the peaks. Those are the peaks. I guess this must be the last couple days. And the peaks are like this. Interesting. Player versus computer? How am I doing? Uh, the computer has more money, probably because it's not spending any money. Reputation is higher. Mail count is higher. How? I have a literal empire. I have five post offices. You have one. Post box count, 29. I have vehicles, much more. Staff count, even more. My empire. Nobody has any idea. I, it's okay. It's okay. I don't blame you. Look at this guy. Player, 8%. What does that mean? Um, I don't know what that means. 8%? Oh. The, me, the player, has 8%, and the competition has that. I don't... I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Dude, this is... <laughs> My spread is more thin, but they might be setting that one post office up to be mega powerful. How are they mega powerful? How big is this post office? I guess I really can't tell. I can't tell oh, how big the post office is. And apparently I'm not making enough money to substantiate um, my size. I think my problem is this. I have grown too big for my britches. I'm not making enough money to be able to outweigh my expenses. Because every single time I drop below 10,000, I go back up. So this is not a sustainable system here. I won't make any money. Not working for me. So that means the only option is to raise my prices. I should advertise and raise prices. I will advertise and raise prices. I don't have enough bonus stars. I can't advertise like that. I can't advertise at all. I don't have enough bonus stars. Okay. No advertisements for me. Merely, I will only change my prices. I will make things more expensive. You will have to spend even more money on your parcels. Maybe that's why, you know, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think what I need to do is I need to make my prices so dirt cheap that I'll increase the quantity. And then when I have so much quantity, ah, I think this is the deal. I'll put everything back down to fives again. Then business will boom. Letter price should be lower. Express letter price should be lower. Yeah, this is good. There we go. Ah, now look at that. I have no idea if this is working. Maybe there's like a, there's gotta be a balance around here. Maybe if I increase packages up by two. I'm attempting to watch my money grow. That didn't seem to do any good. So let's drop the packet price down again. Actually, what happens if I put the price all to one? What will happen? I have nothing to lose. So let's see what happens. There's no money coming in. Why is that? Are any of my trucks moving around? Waiting for delivery. 15 pieces of mail. Where are my trucks? Are they okay? Oh, it's after hours. Okay. That's fine. I don't have any after hours trucks. I guess I have to wait till the morning to, to, to check on that one more time. I wonder... I guess I can add... I want post office. Yay. I have too few bonus stars. Try to handle a priority packet. Fulfill a mission or win a district competition. I have too few stars? Too few stars for what? Oh my god, a robbery. Quick, stop. I failed. I lost all the money that I had made. And I'm now not making much more. Although it is going up. I feel like I don't gain anything from keeping my prices low, so I will put them back to four, five, four, four, and five. I like that. That'll increase prices, right? Nope, prices are going down. Oh, money is going down now. Okay. Don't change my prices. 
Do the money go back up again? Money go back up? Money go back up? I'm just kind of fighting with the machine now here. I don't think I'm winning. I think the machine is winning. I wouldn't doubt that the machine is smarter than I am. I wouldn't doubt that in the least bit. I mean, everything's working just fine. Everything's going according to plan. I'm just not making any money. But you know, I think it was all about the journey that we had along the way and the logistics of it all. Because that's, that's logistics, my friends. That's just how it is. I feel that I have gotten to a pretty good stopping point when it comes to the logistics category of things. Summary. We are gods of the male world. We are post-masters, post-gods, if you will. And apparently when you wield the power of God, you can still make mistakes. Lesson learned here. I don't see where else to go with this right now. Maybe if we come back, the next time I play, if I come back, will definitely be on a mode that has stakes, so I can really realize my mistakes. Although, not today. I think, I think this is where I'm gonna end it. A little bit shorter, it's a Monday, changing things up a little bit, but I managed to play a game, finally. An indie game from the collection. We'll see how this goes. I, I will definitely remember this. I will remember this fondly. The day that the mail system stood still could definitely be a movie. That's what I've got for the show, everybody. I thank thee kindly. You are all very much appreciated. That's how we do things around here. That's it. It's a Monday. Y'all should rest up. But remember, before you rest up, there's definitely a letter for you out there somewhere. Oh, goodness. This camera, this view isn't reversed. It was supposed to be reversed. Oh. Well, this isn't reversed, so it's backwards. I apologize. This is left, and this is right. Well, it's... Actually, this is... This is still left, and this is still right. Oh, whatever. You get the picture. It's been lovely, everybody. It's apparently jumped to the beginning of a day again. And although it may be daytime where you are, it is certainly not day where I am. It is getting late, and I must make sure that I go to work in the morning. But it was all good. Good stream. Love you, Cam. I love you too, Astro. I love everyone out there. You know, there was... There was a message inside of this letter. Where'd it go? Well, to spoil the surprise, it said I love you. That was the letter. I love y'all. Until Wednesday. I'll see everybody on Wednesday. That's what I do. I do things on Wednesday with another episode of Digging Up Dead Bodies in the Ground. Gotta love that. Until then, everybody. If it's the morning where you are, good morning. If it's the evening where you are, good evening. If it's the twilight where you are, good twilight. Have a good one, everybody. Party on. Bye. <laughs>